Hi guys, welcome to the Life App interview. Today we have Josh Fazeldine, a Nimba man, and I'm Josh Staines, a Rajri Nunga man. And uh, we just finished playing basketball and I absolutely whooped him. But before we get into that and that argument, we're going to talk about the Life App that we just got you to complete. Yeah. Um, we want to tell us a little about where you're from, what you're up to, what are you doing right now? I just finished my HSC, so. Yeah. Just been trying, just killing time until I get my tower results. Yeah, how do you think you went? Horribly. Horribly? Horribly. Yeah. So uh, bad. <laughs> how long have you been playing basketball for? Uh, I've been playing basketball since, I think, the end of year seven, so I would have been 12, 12 years old. Yeah, cool. Um, so, with your training and just going through the HSC, what's your um, diet or your occasional meals been like? Oh, uh, I'm sort of retarded like that. Can I say that? I don't um, I don't eat regular meals. I just sort of eat when I'm hungry or eat what's there. Yep. I don't have a balanced diet or a certain amount of food that I eat. It's just I eat what I eat and whatever's there. Yeah. So um, how often a week do you sort of think that you've been eating takeout? Uh, takeout not very often. I suppose the only takeout I really get is probably McDonald's, but that's when I finish work. Yeah, so that's so probably the only How many um, hours average day do you sleep? Oh, or a night? <laughs> like, like, again with my food, I'm nocturnal. Uh, I don't sleep regularly. I sort of stay up until I get tired, and sometimes it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And sometimes I sleep at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. What are, what are some of the reasons for that? <laughs> I don't know. Just Some of it's studying late at night, some of it's just watching YouTube videos, watching basketball games, that sort of stuff. Yeah, cool. Um, so in your life app, you said that you haven't had a preventative health check in probably three to five years. Um, mm. What are some of the main issues or reasons why you haven't got a preventative health check? Uh, honestly, I just didn't really think about it that much. Like I didn't think it was relevant or I just, it never came to mind about getting a checkup. Never thought of it. Yeah, do you have a pretty extensive family history with um, sort of diabetes and cancer and um, other like high cholesterol, blood pressure, all that sort of stuff? Do you have, do you, do you know of um, family history? I think I know for sure that my grandma has like type 2 diabetes and she's like really suffering. And then uh, dad was telling me that on his side there's a long, a long, long um, line of like heart attacks, strokes. Uh, diabetes and all that sort of heart failures and that sort of like diseases and that stuff. So um, did doing the life app sort of put that in perspective how you not having preventative health check how it could sort of put you at risk to some of those family history illnesses? Yeah it was a bit concerning actually like just thinking about it and how it could actually what the preventative checkups could actually do. It could, I don't know detect anything bad that's going on with me early instead of like finding out about it at like the later stages. Who do you sort of go to for advice and help with your nutrition, maybe diet, um, physical activity, that training sort of side of things? I don't know, usually I just sort of find out stuff myself, like online. Yeah. Or just, I guess my dad taught me a bit. And then mum, mum sort of, she taught me how to cook, like, in a, she taught me how to cook, but like the way she taught was, was a very oily, like, very unhealthy way. Yeah. Like with like a lot of oil and um, stuff. So just the, just the tasty way. <laughs> yeah, the good the good way. But, uh, yeah. Well, school, I suppose. Um, my basketball coaches as well, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. So would that be something that you'd be interested in getting some help with? Oh yeah, for sure. I, I could really use like I don't know help, like with my cooking, because I use a lot of um, cheese. <laughs> I love my cheese. Yes, cheese is awesome. It's, it's amazing. So at the end of the life app, it gave you sort of two suggestions or two pledges you can make to sort of improve your health and your, your fitness. Um, do you want to talk about what they are? The pledges was, it was um, eating more vegetables and f testing yourself physically, wasn't it? Yeah. And then, yes, yeah, so I decided to pick the vegetable one because uh, my diet is very shocking. Yeah. It's very um, high fat, <laughs> high fat, low um, vegetable fruit. So we looked at your life app and You've said that you've never been a smoker, you've never smoked before, but um, there are family members in your family that do smoke. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, a lot of my um, family members smoke, especially on my dad's side. My dad's a smoker and um, a lot of his, a lot of his brothers and sisters smoke and most, he has a long line for like smokers in his family and 
on my mom's side in Indonesia, a lot of the, a lot of my uncles smoke. So how does um, your family members smoking uh, affect you? When I was living with my dad, uh, sort of, if whenever he smoked inside, it would get a bit nauseous. But my uncles, when they smoke in the car, it sort of they don't open the windows, and it's a sort of circulates in the car. Yeah, it's very really sick. Yeah, yeah, hate it. <laughs> I hate that. So after completing the life app, what's some steps that now you're going to take to um, make your life a little bit healthier? Uh, what I try to do to make my life healthier, I suppose, have a more balanced diet, eat properly, spend a little more time unwinding, and just sort of relaxing with friends more, or not worrying too much about like university and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I suppose eating a lot more vegetables and fruit. It's probably the biggest, the biggest one. Yeah. Was there anything in the life app that sort of shocked you or made you realise something? The, the family health sort of shocked me a bit because. Uh, I've had a, on my dad's side, there's a long line of health problems and I, I, was, I sort of knew about it, but I tried to put it, put it at the back of my mind, trying not to concern myself with it, thinking it didn't really apply to me that much. Now that you're sort of taking notice of that, um, are you more inclined now to get a preventative health check? It's been too long. Three years is way too long since my last checkup. And I could have something wrong with me right now. Yeah, you could have something wrong with you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Definitely. Yeah. Really, really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming in today for doing it. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Josh for coming in and doing the life app interview with us. Um, I hope that you take away some, I hope you take something away from it. Yeah. Um, whether it be my bad presenting skills yeah, or your skills. bad basketball skills. I'm better than you, mate. Okay, right. Let's, right, not, let's, right. not do, let's not do this right here. All right, all right. Let's not do this now. So we're going to have a rematch now. Thanks for doing the life app. Thanks for watching. Anytime. Cheers. Here till Thursday.